All right, ladies and gents, we're checking out a brand new game called Marvel Snap. I have got absolutely no idea, but we're going to run through the tutorial and give our first impressions. Um, I pre-registered for a whole bunch of games and they've been coming up and I honestly can't remember what they are. So I'm not too sure what this is, whether it's a card game or something like that, but we're going to find out. Meet the team. Spider-Man, you're in. Hi, just got to be home by nine. Okay. So ending turn. Electra. So this is gonna be like um highest power wins, each card adds power. Let's send Spider-Man some backup. Alright. you buttercups cackling on about? So it's gonna be like her stone, is it? Hi, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Rogue. Man, I remember her from the good old X-Men days. Wasp. Win two out of three locations. Okay. Starlord has a special ability. On reveal, if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus three power. Alright. Maybe it's not like her stone. I thought we were going to be able to attack each turn. Let's see what happens. So that's plus three. Toy with doom at your own peril. Mate, I'll keep toy and doom, don't you worry. Hawkeye. Tap a location to see what it does. Okay. Most cards have special abilities. On reveal, if you play a card here next turn, plus two power. If this is at the middle location, plus two power. All right. Track him there. So he goes plus two, doesn't he? It's it's but still a little late. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Pilates. Pilates, but oh, I in there. Your total power is doubled at this location. Give plus two power to cards in the player's hands. Okay. Huh. Would you look at that? Plus three. Oh Jesus, how'd that go to 14? We're low on time. Let's move. So Star Lord's gonna get third. Oh, well there you go. Hulk smash. <laughs> yeah, that's all I was gonna say. End turn, final turn. Oh, they didn't we'll win that one. But we won the other two. Alright, well. A bit different. Next time I'll try to break a sweat. Let's continue. Play games to visually upgrade your cards. Can we get better cards? Frame break. Quality increased to uncommon. Okay. Another free upgrade. Okay. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Upgrading cards unlocks new cards. Alright. The Punisher. Plus one power for each opposing card at this location. Match two. Agatha Harkness. Big up this time. The dude does sound a bit like Mr. Jackson. You start with one energy. And cost three energy can't be played yet. Cards here have plus one power. I don't even look at what his special was. Starts in your opening hand. Alright.
So should we put her there? It's guaranteed that we win that one. So they're focusing on that, so... Punisher in. So they're definitely going to be having this location here. On turn six, cards can't be played here. All right, so we definitely have to chuck something in there. Um, If we do that, then we chuck Iron Man here for the next one, then he doubles it. Yeah, so we are going to get the hub. Do we do abomination? Do we do, what's Iron Man talking again? Your total power is doubled at this location. So it would have been 16 either way. So 16, surely we can't lose the vault. So let's just zand up, but we just put Hulk there. And that takes us up to a ridiculous amount, doesn't it? 21, 22, 23. So they just focused hard on that, which easily just gave me the uh, the advantage. Awesome job. Let's do it. Vision upgrade another card. Brain rate. Did they actually increase their attack rate? Or does it just increase the um, how common it is or the rarity? Upgrading cards unlocks new cards. Add another sentinel to your hand. Okay. Could be handy. Sentinel is waiting in your collection. Edit your deck here. Pop open your deck. Your new card is great. Replace shocker. Uh, remove from deck. Add it to deck. Deck is incredible. Go dominate. Okay, now what do we got here? Um, test your mind. Open rich for a chance at exclusive reward. So that's how we get new packs and cards. And then this is our season pass, which of course I've got a season pass. Spotlight, okay, so yeah, we get that. Um, what else is there? Wait. Why is it it's flashing? Playing, there we go. Avatar set. So it's just the gold here. Um, so that's the shop. Daily offers. Fast upgrades. So that's free. We'll claim that. Yeah, so that's just um, where they're going to get everyone's cash money. Play a match two times. Enter a name. What else would it be? Let's go. Let's have a couple of games. See how it goes now when we're not having our hand held. So add a ninja to each side with minus two power. Okay, will be revealed next turn. Let's just go the first one. Okay, and they're going to do exactly the same. 
One turn five, cards cost one more. That's what we can do. I wonder if it rolls over. I don't think it will. Well, that sucks. And two raptors. I think we're gonna lose this one. actual proper game is going to be a loss. Plus five power of this is the only, your only card here. Well, it's not. So he gets plus one each time. We can't do anything because cards cost more. That's our last turn. Yeah, we've lost this one. 100%. It's our last turn. So really, he's just going to take that one. And if I didn't play anything there, I couldn't play more than one card, so... Ooh, he didn't. He scraped in. He should have just played it in the middle there. If he just played the middle, he would have won. That means we can upgrade it. Upgrade costs 25. So that green we use every time we upgrade as well. We get one, so it costs us five, but we get one back. That's our collection level. Yeah, so you're gonna have to like, grind the absolute shit out of this game, really. Like, really, really grind it. Let's see. Let's see how this match goes. Everyone's gonna start with Quicksilver every single time. Put a card from each player's hand here, okay. So he's going to put Quicksilver there as well. So every player starts with Quicksilver. So if we put him... Sentinel in there as well. Star Lord over there, so we jump on Punisher. Who's he gonna have on his side? Can't see have a 25% chance to be destroyed and mine gets fucking destroyed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit. That's goddamn fucking funny, really. The fact that I have the 25, that's <laughs> cause I had to fucking get it. You can move this once. Unfucking believable that, that got me, really. So he 
He's at 10. Don't you fucking destroy me. I am Iron Man. Yeah, this dude's won. If I happened to put the Hulk in there just then, that would have been amazing. No, it would have been amazing. It would have been completely shit house. Oh, actually, this is definitely lost. They just need two. See, they're just going to chuck it straight in the middle. And they're going to win. Once again, we die. <laughs> I've got two cards killed out of a 25% shot. I don't know how 25% equals putting down three cars and having two killed. Victory. I don't know why he didn't just put it in the middle one. He would have won. Sentinel can be upgraded. Let's just keep upgrading every time we get the chance. Bugger it, yeah? I'm coming. Who we got? Kazaar. Your one cost cards have plus one power. Nice. That's that's good. I like that. So we've won two matches. What are we collecting here? Win two matches. Okay, so that's just giving that sort of stuff. Play five cost cards weekly challenges all right and that was from our season pass was it that we get play man man if you have three other cards here plus three power that can come in handy as well unlocks at 20 is it just 20 all up is it yep so the first series is free look at that collection you know what We've just gone through the tutorial in a couple of quick games. This isn't too bad. I can see this. It's obviously going to be um, heavily influenced by the, uh, <laughs> you know, by the whales that are going to be coming into the game. But cool concept of gameplay. Obviously, it's Marvel, so it's got big, broad appeal there. Someone like me, I do get into the Marvel stuff. So for me, it's definitely um, likable and instantly recognisable as well. Um, it, addictive style gameplay, addictive when you want to collect them, you want to upgrade them. I'm liking it. First impressions are pretty decent, eh? It's just going to come down to, you know, playing it for a bit more and then seeing down the line um, how much influence buying has. Like, if buying cards doesn't heavily influence how well you can do in the game, it gives, like, you know, I expect it to give it a little advantage, but if it's not too heavy, should be pretty freaking decent to play long term and you know jump on daily play for half an hour an hour so i'm looking forward to playing some more of it i really am gonna get into it uh but thanks for watching we're stopping the video there make sure you leave a like and subscribe comment down below what you think of the game let me know um i don't know if there's a clan option but if there is we'll find one i'll put it in the next video of this and we'll join them together marvel be strong all right cool peace out folks